Hey, Kendra and Jamie, this is Planet Mitch, founder and chief astronomer of PlanetFiD.com. You bet you know me as Mitch Onger. We were talking in the chat room last night about the audio, and I know that Jamie plays a video, and the other day she played this one, the most important word ever. Uh, on the side of the receivers on GoToWebinar, it sounds yucky. It's I don't know how you're doing it, but I wanted to give you a suggestion. So here's here's how I would do that with a program called Audio Hijack. Uh, it's like thirty nine dollars or whatever. But this is this is how I want to set it up, and I'm going to show you how I create the process. Audio Hijack's an awesome tool. You probably want to learn it anyway. So let's create a new session. They call them sessions. This is the main window, and those are some of the other things I already have set up. But let's do a new session. And we're going to grab application audio, and I'm bringing this up here. And so this little window is showing you the different options you have to be able to set up this recording. And this default one is getting iTunes. So if you're going to record a song or something, it goes into a recorder, and then you can hear it. So then, And this little pipe here shows you how audio is actually processing and this button down here turns on this whole function so this one's not currently doing anything but let's just get started I'll show you how it works let's suppose we're going to take the audio from Safari which is where the video from Gary is and so that is turned on you can turn each of these little things on and off if you want so it's blue it's on if you turn it off then it goes gray right all right, so the, the audio is going to go into this recorder if I turn this on. So this is a really simple demo. I'm playing that. The UK that, wants to be more reserved, you but, you know, but your hustle, your work ethic, your drive is not predicated on your... So you see that processing through to the recorder, um, and so that would come through your headphones as well. So you all saw all that stuff happening. So I'm going to leave these here, but I need some more space because we want to get that eventually over to GoToWebinar, right? Now, I don't have GoToWebinar, but I'm going to show you how you do it to Skype. It's the same process. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to add some extra functionality in here. But let's also suppose that I want my microphone going in, right? So if I put my microphone, I'm dragging this. I happen to have a Rode Podcaster, which is a USB thing. And I need to drag it over here so that little gray pipe shows up. Now, sometimes when you put these things on there, they don't quite show up. I like them to be underneath each other, but for so for right now, I need it to go into there, right? Now, one of the problems when you're doing this is if you're going to turn on the Rode Podcaster, and you'll see if I turn this on, you'll, you'll see, see that, that. But, but if, if you, you hear, you now hear yourself. It's, it's an, an echo, echo, and it's, it's very annoying. annoying. So what you want to do is to not have that output device be there, but you want to hear... Uh, the application, for example, like Safari, you want to be actually able to hear that playing. So if I now turn this on, you don't hear the double echo of me. You see that the audio is going from my microphone into the recorder, and this isn't doing anything. So I come over here and do that. Zip code. Then you see that whole process working there. And that's very loud, so let me turn that down. Uh, anyway, so, so you all, see the video or the audio going through there. Like, so we know that's going into the recorder. I, I so let me just, turn I that just, off now. Go back to audio hijack. Now that's so that's still a recorder, right? We don't necessarily want that. Uh, you have to be careful not to break those links. And I don't have an output device anymore. It's over here. So I'm only hearing the audio from Safari uh, going into the recorder. But now, how do you get that audio over to Skype? Now, when you install Audio Hijack, I believe, and I don't remember now because I've, I've done lots of different things on my computer, so I don't remember exactly how it happened, uh, but I want another output device here instead of the recorder. And uh, when I installed Hijack Pro, Audio Hijack, I believe that installed something called Soundflower Embed. And that'll become more clear. So what I want the output device to be here is not my headphones, but I want to drop this down, and I want Soundflower. And you can pick either two-channel or 
64 channel. I tend to do just two channel. And if that's not there, then you have to go find the download. It's a free download and you can install that. And again, I don't remember whether they're now shipping with Soundflower included or whether you have to go grab that from the Soundflower website, but you can just go Google that. If it's not there, uh, it should be there, but if it's not, uh, it's a simple download and install. Uh, so, and, and Soundflower launches when you launch your computer, so it should always be there once you put this in, and it's a great little tool. So, let me go over to Skype, and I'm going to open my preferences, and you'll see, I mean, default shows up as my microphone or your internal microphone built in, which is on the top of my iMac, but typically I have my USB mic here. Uh, and I'm not going to touch these of that, but if I switch over to Soundflower, now because I'm not re I don't have this turned on, and I'm just going to get rid of the recorder because I don't need the recorder anymore, right? So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to do Command Delete or yeah, Command Delete to make that go away because I want this output device to be Soundflower Two Channel which is going to go over here to Skype and hi. Um, but nothing happens until I turn that on, right? So this Skype in our situation is mimicking what you would be doing with GoToWebinar. And I'm assuming GoToWebinar has some sort of setting that allows you to change what your input is for your microphone. If it doesn't have that, then we're screwed and all bets are off, right? Sorry about that. But I assume GoToWebinar is sophisticated enough to do that. So you need to be able to switch it to Soundflower 2 channel. And when I turn this on, you will now see that there's my voice. Yay! So that part's working. And you can visually see that it's going from here to the output device, which is Soundflower 2 channel. So of course it's working over here in Skype settings. Now, so if I go over to... Safari, and I play that. Now you'll hear it, of course, because I have that output. I think that but if we look over here, thinks and if I be quiet, you will see like that uh, you are not. Skype, or time. in your case, Stop. go to webinar, will have him talking. The thought and nature of like people saying, well, America's an entrepreneurial paradise. So there it is. The conversation that's happening within America of like, to be great in tech, you need and to be in course, San Francisco. And of course, also in audio hijack, you see both of those. So that's Just going over there. So it's a visual confirmation so that that's working, up. right? I, I think so that's, that's really how simple it is. With audio hijack, it is incredibly simple to get output over to another program like Skype or GoToWebinar. And it's just really great. So let me know if you have any questions. Sorry if this is a little bit long, but I think this will really improve your uh, technology in going out to your uh, not only millionaire hustlers, but probably even in your podcast. If you've always wanted to be able to have great audio in your podcast... Uh, then you would simply just create another output device, maybe Soundflower, or just do the recording, which I deleted. You can put the recorder back, uh, and you get a recording of what's happening. Let me also show you in the main window. Uh, let me turn that off, and you will see over here in recordings that there is now a recording. And I only did nine seconds because I only dropped it in there just now, but there are some other ones from earlier. So you could then use this MP3 recording as your podcast audio. Of course, you're also doing video for many of your podcasts. So whatever you're using to do your video recording, like ScreenFlow, again, you just set the microphone to Soundflower 2 channel or 64 channel, whichever one you're picking. Make sure that in Audio Hijack, you turn the button on so it's processing that. Again, that's how that works right there. And it's awesomeness. I love this tool. Uh, they just recently changed this visual, visual motif. It used to be that you, it was very hard to diagnose what the problems were if you weren't quite getting the right audio. 
but now you can get great audio, you can do recordings, you see visually what's going on, and I'll quit blabbering now, but this is Planet Mitch. Hope you uh, enjoy this. Let me know if you have any questions.